We're just doing a little camera test. I don't know which camera to look at. Let's look at that camera to start with. Hello, new camera. So James has hired a camera for, for me to try because you may or may not know, I've been using my phone, my iPhone to film since I started taking my business online at the beginning of our first lockdown, which was March 2020, something like that. So quite a while. And then I started my YouTube channel July 2020. And again, was using my iPhone 7, which you can watch my video about my current kit. And I explain all that and waffle quite a lot in that video too. Anyway, what was I saying? I've learned, I've learned your oh yeah, so now I'm using my iPhone 11? 11. 11, okay. So I upgraded my phone because I wanted to have a more decent camera. Um, so I did invest in my phone a few months ago because at that point I knew I was going to be doing uh, filming, vlogging and things like that. So it was part of my work kit, if you like. So now I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I've got two cameras to look at. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, so if I'm looking over there, that's because I'm not looking at this camera. So I did mention, I think, in last week's video, James has hired for free, he put a deposit down, and he's hired me a proper camera um, to see if I can get on with it, basically, because I'm not techie and I'm not into cameras. So yeah, anyway, we've come into the studio today on a Sunday. Is it morning? Just because I usually film here basically so I want to see what it looks like in direct comparison so we're going to look at both side by side if that makes sense which was James's idea because he's really good at this stuff and in fact should start a YouTube channel doing techie stuff not expect me to do it because I'm rubbish at it anyway I'm not going to tell you what camera we've got because I haven't decided and I don't want to promote anything and it's not sponsored or affiliated or anything like that it's just literally me trying a proper mirrorless digital SLR? Not an SLR? No, just a digital mirrorless camera. Quite a nice one. And then if I do like my camera and I want to promote it later, I can then update my video on what kit I've been using and then I can share all that information and things like that and give you a little review. But for now, it's a proper camera versus an iPhone 11. Hey, my screen's gone off there, Bubba. That's because I'm looking through now. Oh. Right, so I've got a flip screen on the camera so I can see what's in the shot. I can't see myself, which is helpful because I can't see without my glasses. But that's helpful because otherwise you end up staring at yourself and then it looks really weird on the video. So I'm trying to stare at the lens, which is teeny tiny on the phone. And I've got this nice big fat lens on the camera, which is easy. I can see that. Often when I'm trying to get you know, my phone, I'm like that. I can't see that. Anyway. Is this enough of a test, do you think? Is this enough of a Wendy waffle just to test them both side by side? Do you want to talk about the convenience? The convenience. The size, portability. Oh, I see. That's a good point, actually. So, yeah, what if I can't be bothered to take the bigger camera? It doesn't weigh loads. How much do you reckon it weighs? I think so. I think, I can't remember. Half a kilo? More than a kilo? Hands, right, so about a kilo then. And the phone's obviously much lighter and smaller. And I've always got my phone with me because... As a parent, I have a daughter, and even though grown up now, she still needs to communicate with Mama Bear, and so I like to be there for her because I don't live in the same town. So I always have my phone on me, and also me and James like to communicate too. And so, yeah, that's always with me, where the camera, I wouldn't necessarily, on a Sunday afternoon walk, for example, want to take my bigger camera. It's not like a big camera like James's, it's kind of that sort of size, isn't it? Yeah. But it's obviously heavier and more chunky than a phone. So, Which begs the question, would you use it? Yeah, would I, would I actually use it? So it's a big investment for me. And so I want to warrant the amount I'm going to be spending with the sense. It's going to give me value. The videos are going to look nicer. So hopefully it's going to pick up light differently and things like that, which will be really nice in the studio. I want to... I want to see what that looks like in the studio because I know out in nature my phone does really, really well. My screen's gone off and it's saying something. So the camera has just turned itself off, I think. It, the screen just went blank and then some white writing came up. But obviously, I can't see it, can't read it. Anyway, we don't know what's happened, so I'll fill you in in a minute when Joe's technical person has worked it out. But what I was, I'll just finish what I was saying. So basically, I know it's going to pick up light differently when we're out in the woods, for example. 
um, or in a dark place or maybe I could film like the stars and things like that the moonlight and that'll be really fun yeah I wanted to see whether the light looked different in the studio and whether it was worth the investment because I do a lot of vlogging and videoing in here and the light's really good and I've got lights from two angle because I have a big skylight up there um, and I've got the two big windows but at the same time it can look quite dark in here and I, I usually can't be bothered to put on ex the extra light. I do have like a daylight bulb that I'm, I sometimes use as a spotlight. I don't have professional lighting or anything like that. I haven't invested in that yet. So probably never will, to be honest, unless, unless it's for recording my art process on my desk, if you like. So maybe one day I'll have a proper setup for that. Hang on. Anyway. Hang on. Otherwise we're losing. I think it's run out of memory on the memory card, I hope. Three, two. It's really weird doing this with James in the room watching me and doing my tech support. It's a little bit embarrassing. It's a little bit embarrassing, baby. I feel a bit shy. Anyway, um, so all I'm going to do now, oh yeah, just to explain what happened then, then it was the memory card was full. So James has been doing some filming, videoing, and he forgot to clear the card. So that's what that was. And I guess I'm going to get a big card, memory card, if I do go for the camera. How many gigs will I need? Oh no, what, 64 gigs. 64, okay. Well, I don't know all that stuff. He does all that for me. And that's it really. So I think we've done the test now. I don't need to waffle on for too long which camera to look at. Yeah, I'll let you know the outcome of this very exciting test uh, as soon as we work it out, as soon as we review the footage and stuff. So, have a rummage. Oh, there's my box. I need that, don't I? That's my box for the jewellery. Oh, that's my tools. What I really need to do is have a mega sort out of every single box and nook and cranny and cubby hole and bits and bobs in this room. And then clear it and then maybe I don't need a bigger room. And just have a little reorganise. And then... Whoa! <laughs> Um, do I need anything in that one? I don't think so, I think it's just this one and that one. See how I um, keep myself running commentary? Do it anyway, I'll do it if you're in here or not. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, so just show you what's my bits and bobs because it's um it's been ages since I've been in here jewelry kit and everybody says to me can you put some more jewelry in the shop and I never get chance because I'm always really busy and I really miss doing the jewelry things I've got a little um oh I can't I don't know where to hold it I've got a little dragonfly thing there oh and I've got these I really love these so these are like the, the cabochon necklaces I, I make I mean, shot. I have to no, direct. Not, not focus. Just drive. Just hang on a minute. Bring it here. So. Oh, there you go, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. So that's now in focus. Okay. I'm just playing with the focus on the camera because I'm actually put. We've put them on. We've hired. So yeah, I put a little print or a little original in there, and then you make a little necklace. And then I've got some that have got um, the uh, little circly thing at the bottom and then I make a little raggy tassel out of ribbons and bells and all sorts of little things but I haven't made any for ages um actually hang on a sec just so this is one that I've made ages ago so you can see that I've, I don't know if I'm showing this right because I'm trying to get used to my this higher camera but yeah you can see the little print and then the little raggy further away too close too close yeah is that in focus? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if I'll make them exactly like that, but it gives you an idea. So I'm just going to grab a few bits and bobs and also 
Um, obviously need my tools. So I've got those at the bottom. Is that in there? Yeah, I've got this box. It's got another layer for bits and bobs. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little rummage. I've got beads and bells and, and a load of stuff. You can see. Kind of if you tip these boxes up, everything comes out. So it's in here. I've also got my cabochon stuff. Then different ones. Oh, and I've got some really nice uh, overly ones as well. Different shapes. How cute's that with all the roses around? I could put a nice print in there or a little painting. Oh, I'm going to do some minis. Bobby Dubs. Straight in. These are all the beads I bought, Baba. And I haven't even unpacked them yet. All these. So I've just got in on a Monday, hello, and um, yeah, you can see how dark it is, and I think it's going to rain, but it's really, really grey, so I think I need to winterise, autumn winterise my room, and open up these curtains now, which I put up to try and help protect me from the direct sunlight that made this room really, really hot, um, and then in the afternoon the sun would stream through up there so even with the window open really wide it just became super warm but now yeah it might be time to uh, change it and then allow these plant babies as well to get some more light now it's changed so much the ever-changing seasons huh So I've been really busy this morning tidying up my room and I don't know if you've seen the last few videos but you may have noticed I've been sort of doing it section by section if you like so I kind of clear one area or I think last time I did under the table in the Oval Office. So what I've done today is I've done the windows because the weather's changed and everything and yeah as I explained earlier I need some more light so I might as well enjoy as much light as I can have in here. Um, which is quite a lot, obviously, very lucky. And then all my plant babies needed to be found a home uh, where they're going to live in the new lighting situation. So all the ones that couldn't deal with all the sun can now go back out into the light because they're missing out on a bit of light. So I basically sorted out the studio garden, the plant babies, and just kind of tidied up the windows and made them look really pretty and took the curtains down and everything. So that's kind of where I've been the last few hours really I think probably three or four hours I've been doing this yeah I still have a few problem areas in the studio to be honest and I'll give you a quick uh, flash around the room in a minute but it's feeling a lot better where sometimes I'm in the mood to just come in and create but sometimes the disorganized chaos if you like just means that I can't concentrate on my artwork and I know some of you like that as well and so that's the point where I need to have a blitz but I didn't want to do it all in one go because it felt so overwhelming. And I still need to go through each and every box and declutter as well. I have been decluttering as I've been going along today, but I need to do a really deep declutter in here as well. And I think that will really help me resettle in the room, if you like. The space feels so much bigger already. 
So I just need to fill you in as well how I got on with the camera. And in actual fact, James and I had a big chat yesterday after reviewing the filming and the footage that we took yesterday. And yes, the camera provides beautiful imagery and it was definitely nicer than the phone quality. At the same time, it didn't bring me enough extras, if you like, to warrant upgrading um, and when I've already got a completely fine camera on the phone I upgraded the phone in fact so that I had the best quality camera I could have on it at that time even though obviously technology has moved on by at, at this point as it invariably does and I just felt it was like a technological trap if you like and James was saying to me you know once you invest in your camera whatever make it is you then need to invest in maybe a lens, new lenses at different points, and, and you're invested in that thing. And I would have needed to buy um, a couple of spare batteries and then a charger for the batteries and some memory cards and a different microphone. And yeah, because the microphone didn't work yesterday um, in the camera. So yeah, really interesting outcome because I really thought I was ready to take on a nice camera. But the extra expense of the camera with all the other stuff on top of, it would have added up to an awful lot. So I had to make sure it was worthwhile. And in all honesty, I don't really need a new camera. And so that's what I've decided. I think at this point, I just don't want to upgrade. And I might change my mind at a later date. I don't know, I'm open to that. There's always gonna be a camera for me, isn't there, if I do change my mind. Or maybe in a year or two, I upgrade the phone because, you know, phone cameras are absolutely amazing these days, aren't they? Especially the newer ones. So that's where I'm at with the camera. I'm being very practical and honest with myself and not getting caught up into the shiny things, if you like, the trap of the technology and spend, spend, spend and upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And you always need the next best thing and all that stuff. And the proof is in the pudding, isn't it? So, you know, if I can do it with my phone, I'm sure anyone can. And you don't need posh um, equipment at all. James and I like to do a pros and cons list. So on a piece of paper, pros and cons. And I think there were two pros for the camera and then a long list of cons for me. And had I been a really into camera person, shall we say, which I'm not, maybe the outcome would have been different. But right now I just want a point and shoot and I've got, yeah, exactly what I need on this phone. So I'm gonna stick with it. Anyway, I just thought I'd update you on all that. Quite a few people were asking me, you know, what camera are you trying out? And really interested to find out what my decision was going to be, what the outcome was, if you like. And uh, yeah, so that's that caught up now. Anyway, I shall give you a quick flash of the room of my studio because not a tour, but just show you what I've been doing rather than talking at you the whole time. So this is the main thing I've been doing, um, clearing the windows and putting the plant babies back into their sort of autumn winter positions. I moved into this room in a February, so I haven't done a full year in here yet. Um, and yeah, initially the plant babies were really enjoying being on the windowsill, but then as the summer sort of came in, into being, it got too hot for some of them, depending on what type of plant they were. Um, and so I'm going to try, um, I can't remember what that's called. Somebody did message me last time and tell me what that plant was called. But anyway, I found out it's a shade loving plant that doesn't like too much water. I made a bit of a mistake with that one and it was sitting where the um, pink geranium is over there. So I moved it um, into the corner, into the shady corner, but now I'm just popping it back there because I think it needs a little bit of light. And then I can always move it back into the shady corner um, should I need to. I managed to rescue one of the, the wedding lavenders. And yeah, just taking out the curtains, or taking them down rather, has just really opened the space up again. So yeah, really liking how that's looking and uh, the fact it's really, yeah, opened up the light. And those windows go right up there, they're really tall. So it's nice to actually have those back. And then obviously more space for my plant babies, um, meaning that now I've cleared 
um, the standing desk as well. And I've cleaned that with um, some orange oil. So that's obviously where we pack shop orders. So I wanted to make sure that that was all clean um, and dust free. Yeah, I have obviously the problem area, which is still going on under here. Uh, my packaging materials. So hang on a sec, let's just uh, give you a proper look down here. So yeah, this completely needs to be gone through and then the bits and bobs I don't need, I can get rid of. And then the rest of it can either be maybe flat packed a little bit more. I did have um, those boxes, that pile of boxes just here, that was up at the top. So as you can see, I've had another little place for the plant babies where, yeah, the, the beast, this one, <laughs> he, um, he obviously needs quite a lot of space. And so I thought he would probably be best up there. And so, yeah, I've been working quite a lot on the plants and I repotted a couple of new babies as well and um, put those over here. So yeah, I've got a couple of new spider plant babies started and then some teeny tiny peace lilies as well. Yeah, so we'll see if everything's happy in its new place and I can always reposition things if necessary, if I need to. So I've obviously been piling some things up over here. I've got a big bin bag and some bits and bobs that I need to go through. That I need to work out once I sort out under there. And so the other thing I've been doing is looking at this cupboard here. So I've got rid of some of that. It's basically a storage area for most of it's my art supplies. And so that in combination with the art trolley. Um, but I've been through some of that as well today. So yeah, I worked quite hard on, on this area too. And then, hang on a sec, I'll just turn the camera yeah, around. Yeah, so I've got my um, art trolley, which I do need to sort out, but it's basically, I've, I've moved it away from where it was over here. But obviously it's on wheels, so I can wiggle it around wherever. So that's always handy. And now I've been working over in the Oval Office as well. That means that I can wiggle the art trolley over here as well. So that's really useful. And then I need to have a look at this area here, my wet painting area. Yeah, maybe um, restack the tower of canvases and also have a look at the work space. I've put a lamp over here because I'm probably going to need a bit of light in this area for the winter months. I'll just straighten you up, sorry. That's sort of how that's looking. And I've cleared all the plants, so that's going to give me more space to actually work over here. And then obviously round to the window. So that's where I'm at. I did quite a lot of clearing under there, but I think I could review all the things under here. And I can review every single storage box that's over up right to the ceiling. That needs to be done at some point. Um, but right now I'm, I'm starting to feel a lot better. And one of the things that's made me feel better is to actually have cleared this whole area under the table, which I'm hopefully going to keep clear. I don't want to store stuff under there at all. And it makes the room feel a lot more spacious, which is weird really, because it's obviously under the table. But yeah, that's what we're looking like. And I've kind of shifted artwork, as you can see, so that I can sit under these beautiful windows and work. And I find it really inspiring. So that's kind of quite a nice situ for me to actually get creative as well and have a nice bright creative space for winter. That's what I'm thinking. I want to keep my spirits high as much as possible. I think we're all really sensitive to light aren't we? And James said to me this morning that he felt down because it was really dark and grey and he didn't see the sunrise and so yeah it kind of makes him, he's very sensitive to it, to the changes and once equinox has been and gone and it's starting to get darker and I think our clocks go back into daylight saving times I hate it that they do that I wish they just leave it because it gets me really discombobulated and I think that's true for quite a lot of people but anyway once that changes we're going to have yeah it's going to start feeling really dark and wintry and stuff but if we can optimize the light in our spaces I think that's really the way to go isn't it and sorry if I've looked tired in the last couple of videos, but yeah, genuinely, I'm just showing up here 
to have chats, honest chats with you. And yeah, sometimes I'm tired and I've not slept very well, and and that's just the way it is, as I explained in in you know in last week's video where I had a really bumpy week, really. But there you go. I'm not sure what this week's going to be like yet. It's very peaceful and quiet in my room and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so lucky to have my own private space. And just coming in early this morning and giving it some love and reorganising everything and, and repotting a few things and connecting with my plant babies. You know, we live in a flat, so James and I don't have a garden at the moment, which we really, really miss. But we've got lots of nature walks on our doorstep and, and we're really, really lucky in other ways. But having the plants really means that I've got this indoor garden and it, and it means the world to me, which is why I always call them my plant babies. So there's a couple of things that I'd like to do before I leave. And I'm not sure what time it is. It's probably about 12, 1 o'clock by now because I think I've been tidying and organising for about four hours, I would say. And I haven't done anything creative, so I need to work on some of the edges. So I've, I've done a couple and, yeah, I just want to work on, make sure I have get, get all the edges done on these chunky chunks. Love them so much. They're not cheap, these. I think they're about eight pounds each, so eight English pounds each. But yeah, I got a couple to try. If you've seen the art haul video, you will have um, seen those. I absolutely love them. So uh, we're pondering on a way where we can actually make some. I need a wood workshop. So not only do I need a bigger studio, I'd actually like a wood workshop too, so that James and I can make some, some more of these. And then it wouldn't be so expensive. Anyway, I'm really enjoying these, so I might do a couple more edges on this one. And just enjoy my new, tidier, more organised space. It feels so much bigger. And um, as I say, you know, working under that window, I think it's going to be really, really joyful. Keep this end of the Oval Office for, you know, computer work and laptop. And I can also work at the standing desk as well. So if I want to edit and things like that, I can work really nicely at the standing desk. I'm really lucky to have one of those. That was gifted right at the beginning of my YouTube journey, actually. And I've absolutely loved that table. And so I think I've got an area for everything. And then my really messy, wet things, I always do in the wet area. But it's just created another space for me to actually paint. <laughs>